the viewers uh, welcome to another biology presentation so in this presentation we are going to look at the topic genetics and the subtopic it's variation and animal species so this is our specific outcomes describe terms using the study of genetics so at the end of this presentation you should be able to describe the terms that are used in the study of genetics so these terms are very important as we continue with our lessons to come i'll be using them frequently so you need to understand them so we have to understand what genetics is so genetics deals with the study of inheritance including the interplay of genes dna variation and their interactions with environmental factors in simple terms we can just say genetics is the study of what inheritance meaning that it looks at how characteristics are being passed on from one generation to the next generation from parents to their offsprings and how these genetic variations can influence an organism's characteristics so what we are saying is that genetics explains the similarities and differences between parents and their offsprings okay so here what happens is that the parents are going to produce uh, offsprings and these offsprings they look like uh, the parents in some ways again in some other ways they are they don't resemble the, the parents completely okay so this happens as a result of something that is passed on from one generation to the next generation from parents to their offspring so when the sperm cell fertilizes the egg half the traits from each parent are combined to produce the offsprings that have a unique combination of traits from both parents so this tells us that a full human being now has 46 what chromosomes and these 46 chromosomes 23 pair will be inherited from the male parent another 23 pair will be inherited from the female parent so together they will make what 46 chromosomes okay so let us now look at the terms that are used in the study of what uh, genetics so these terms that are used in the study of genetics we have uh, characteristics we also have traits we have chromosomes we also have uh, genes we have alleles we also have dominant and recessive we also have genotype and uh, phenotype apart from these characteristics we also have uh, homozygous we have heterozygous monohybrid inheritance complete dominance in complete dominance we also have condominance sex linked characteristics we also have uh, first filial generation and second filial generation so you can even refer to them as f1 generation and f2 generation so you must uh, understand what each of these uh, characteristics are okay so let us look at uh, characteristics characteristics are things such as eye color hair height and shape these are what we call characteristics then traits traits are physical expressions of our genes or alleles okay so we can have um, if we are being asked are we tall or are, are we short or is our skin light or dark and how dark is it so we call these as what as traits so uh, let us look at other characteristics we have uh, a chromosome so a chromosome is a dna thread wrapped in protein so these chromosomes now they carry inherited information and this inherited information is being passed on from one generation to the to the other okay so we can also look at the structure of a chromosome this is uh, how a chromosome looks like okay it has the centromere right on the middle and these two strands are called chromatids okay these two strands are called chromatids so this is a chromosome so chromosomes we have said these are structures inside the nucleus of a cell that carry the genes of an organism so the same chromosomes they consist of what we call deoxyribonucleic acid which is the dna so let us look at another term we also have genes so what are genes a gene is a basic unit of inheritance okay 
or we can say a gene is a part of a chromosome that codes for a particular characteristic such as, such as what height okay such as height or it can also code for eye color for skin color okay so that is what a gene is so we move on to other uh, terms that are used in the study of genetics so let us now look at uh, alleles okay so what are alleles an allele is just an alternative form of a gene Okay, so these alleles, they are, you find that each of them is sexually um, reproduced, okay, from two different genes that are coming from the male and the female parents in this case. So these alleles may be similar or they may be different. And one of the alleles is inherited from the male parents and the other alleles is inherited from the female parent, okay. Now, we have alleles that have got more than two alternative forms. These alleles are called multiple alleles. Okay, an example is when we look at the gene for blood groups. So, blood groups they are falling under the examples of multiple alleles, meaning that they have more than two alternative forms of a gene. Okay, so blood groups in humans they have got three alleles. Namely, we can have the allele for blood group A, like this, written like this. You can also have the allele for blood group B which can also be presented like this. We can also have the array for blood group what O. Okay? So, when expressing this, they are going to be expressed or they are going to have only two of the what of the alleles. Okay? So, this is what alleles are. So, we use letters to present these alleles. Okay? We use different letters depending with what you have been given. So, uh, let us look at other terms that are used in the study of genetics apart from alleles we have what we call dominant so what a dominant allele a dominant allele is the one that gets expressed in the phenotype okay so this dominant allele it's written in capital T capital letter okay it always overshadows the recessive alleles so if we talk of uh, dominant alleles we are supposed to write them in capital letters for example we can write if we have an allele representing A in capital letter, we have an allele representing maybe T in capital letter, D in capital letter like this. So all these are called the dominant what? Alleles. Now what about a recessive allele? Okay. So when we talk of a recessive allele, we are talking about an allele that is overshadowed in the phenotype due to the presence of the what? The dominant allele. So these recessive alleles are always presented in small uh, letters, okay, in lowercase letters. For example, if you have um, the allele for A, you can write it like that, just A or B or D. Okay, so if I've got uh, this combination, I've got A and the small letter A. This A we have said is a dominant allele, then this small letter A we have said this is a recessive allele. So this dominant allele, okay, is hiding this recessive what? Allele. So this is what you must know concerning dominant and recessive what? Alleles. So let us now move on. We, we now come to genotype. So what is genotype? So when you talk of genotype, we are simply talking about the genetic makeup of an organism or the genetic composition of an organism so for example of genotype that we can give we can talk of uh, the, the the blood group okay we can also talk of uh, eye color okay we can also talk of main things these are called the uh, genotype which is the genetic composition of an organism so i hope you have gotten what i've explained now, this genotype is just um, the combination of alleles that an organism has for a given characteristic. So, you know what alleles are. These are alternative form of a gene. So, this uh, genotype it can also uh, be defined as the genetic composition of an organism for a particular characteristic. The genotype is normally written using a pair of what? Letters. And each of these letters, they present what we call alleles. Okay, for example, if you have um, capital letter AA, as you can see right here, 
this is uh, representing the genotype also if you have uh, a capital letter a and a small letter a or if you have small letter s so these they are arrows that are representing the the genotype which is the genetic composition of uh, an organism so let us now look at phenotype what is phenotype so phenotype is the outward appearance of an organism or we can say this is a uh, the physical appearance of an organism okay so this uh, phenotype we are looking at examples such as height or skin color okay this is called the phenotype the outward expression of the genotype in the form of the physical characteristics of uh, an organism is called the, the phenotype so i hope we are moving together you have understood what i'm explaining here okay so let us now move on we look at uh, another term so here we now look at uh, homozygous so homo means same homo means what same so when you look at homozygous we are looking at the type of genotype where both alleles are the same for example maybe it's having dominant alleles or maybe it's having recessive what allele okay so when i say dominant allele we are looking at the both of the alleles being written in capital letters for example capital letter a a or small letter a a this is recessive or capital letter b b this is dominant or small letter b b and so on so that's what you need to know about it. homozygous homozygous means same okay so organisms which are homozygous these organisms are called homozygous or pure breeds because they have pure genotype okay they have inherited they have inherited the dominant genotype from the offsprings okay so i hope you have understood we now move on we look at heterozygous so the word hetero hetero means different so we are looking at the type of genotype where the two alleles are different such as one allele is dominant while the other allele can be recessive so in this case we can uh, maybe write where we have a capital letter a and a small letter a okay you can also have a capital letter t and a small letter t a capital letter b and a small letter b this is called heterozygous uh heterozygous because they are having different what alleles okay they are having a dominant one and the a recessive one so this is very very important for for you to understand okay so we move on let us now look at uh, monohybrid cross so monohybrid cross is uh, when only one characteristic or trait is being shown in the genetic quality in the genetic cross so in order for us to understand monohybrid cross we have to use what we call genetic diagrams and these genetic diagrams can be presented using the punnett diagram or using the pedigree diagram or using just the, the common genetic diagram that we we normally use so apart from this monohybrid cross we also have what we call complete dominance so complete uh, dominance is a genetic cross where the dominant allele blocks the expression of a recessive allele in the heterozygous what condition okay that's what we call uh, that's what we mean when we say complete dominance so apart from uh, complete dominance we also have um, another type of dominance which is called incomplete dominance so incomplete dominance is just a genetic cross where the combination of two alleles from different parents results in a new phenotype that is neither completely dominant nor recessive so this means that neither allele is fully expressed over the other and the resulting phenotype is a mix of the two para parental traits an example when you look at uh, plants such as four o'clock flowers or uh, we look at animals such as chickens rabbits and dogs or maybe we look at humans such as hair color and voice what voice speech this can be considered to be examples of incomplete dominance we can also define incomplete dominance as uh, the dilution okay of the dominant allele with the respect to the recessive allele which results in the new heterozygous phenotype okay so i hope that you have gotten what i've explained under incomplete dominance 
we can now move on we look at other terms so let us now look at condominance so condominance is a genetic cross in which both alleles are expressed equally in the phenotype for example we can look at blood types where we have a and b alleles these are condominant okay they can result in the blood type such as a b okay we now move on we look at sex linked characteristics so when you look at sex linked characteristics we are looking at characteristics that are carried on the sex what chromosomes examples we have hemophilia we have red green color blindness okay these are examples of uh, sex linked characteristics okay uh, we now move on apart from sex linked uh, characteristics what other terms we normally use in genetics so we have what we call f1 generation f this is the first filia generation so the first filia generation simply refers to the first filia generation of the offspring produced by crossing two different what parents so this is what we call f1 generation so the first offspring that are going to be produced by the crossing of two different parents we call that as f1 generation now if we cross the second generation okay using the f1 generation using the same offsprings that we we obtained now we make another cross we call that as f2 generation which is the second filia generation so second filia generation is the second filia generation obtained by crossing the f1 generation so i hope you have understood what i've explained if you have uh, any question you are free to leave a comment in the comment section and i'll be able to respond to you so we've come to the end of our presentation remember this is uh, our first presentation under this topic genetics so uh, be on the lookout for other videos to be uploaded under the same uh, topic so thank you so much for watching we've come to the end of our presentation this has been your presenter mr mrenga bye bye